please enjoy today's free video and don't forget to swing by directiontrader.com to sign up for your 100% free membership, which entitles you to basic trading education, daily recap and looking forward videos, and phone and email support from Direction Trader. Let's get started. Hey guys, Adam here from DirectionTrader.com. Let's go ahead and make today's video recap. Um, it's about 5 after 2 here, uh, Central Standard Time, so we've got about an hour left in the markets. But wanted to get this video made here uh, before we uh, dive into the end of the day here. I'm kind of interested to see if we're going to get a little bit of a grind higher or neutral or down. What are we going to get here in the stock index futures moving forward? Let me, uh, let me actually blow this chart up. This is a 15-minute chart here of the S&P. We opened up today and had a really nice push to the upside. Great trading opportunities in the live trading room this morning. Um, took some really good trades. We got filled on a couple that ended up being nice, profitable trades. A couple of them didn't get filled, which went on for a nice day. So overall, pretty good day in the live trading room, even though it was a little bit slower. Um, here with the push in the S&P and the Russell, um, actually all the stock index features, it was a really nice push. It looks like it went straight up here on a 15 minute chart, which is something I really usually don't get a lot of trading opportunities when the market goes like this. But if you sink in on like a five minute, a one minute, or like even like a 233 tick chart, it really moved very well. So we got some really good trading opportunities here to the long side in the direction of that move this morning. So we were able to take advantage of that, which was very nice. Now, if I blow this up to, let's say, a daily chart, um, you're going to see, I think we got a little bit more room here. Um, obviously to the upside, just even to test the previous swing high. So I am not necessarily sold yet on this pullback. I'm still seeing a lot of fibs, still seeing a lot of support holding here. And with the nice pop that we had this morning, I'm still very interested to see if we can hold some of this, some of this support down here and get another retest, at least another retest of the highs, or maybe even go into a consolidation um, phase here. So going into tomorrow, I'm going to see if we can hold Friday's lows, which we did today, and even maybe pop on up here from this point right now. Um, I'm not, I'm more of a neutral bias uh, on the market. I'm not completely bullish, but I'm not bearish either. I still see us being able to hold some of these levels. We have a lot of support here that we've held. Even in the past, when, we, when we've, uh, after a nice push, we've consolidated quite a bit. Even though we pushed up, we've get gone into these consolidation phases before ultimately pushing higher again uh, for another push higher. So it doesn't worry me that we're consolidating here. I, uh, I'm still, uh, you know, kind of midterm intermediate term to a little bit longer term bullish until we're able to break some of these fibs we're not able to break any of these fib pullbacks it really doesn't make sense to me to be you know aggressively short here from a swing trade perspective from an intraday perspective I'm going to continue to watch here because I see us in somewhat of a neutral bias right now and I'm going to continue to watch these previous day's price levels. If we come out tomorrow and we're able to push up above today's highs, which is also pretty close to Friday's highs, um, I'm going to probably be aggressive to the long side. Anything short of this, i got to be a little bit cautious because I still see a lot of support down in here. And I don't want to be aggressive to the short side whenever we have all this daily support. So anything to the upside, guys, I'm going to continue to be aggressively long. Kind of like I was this morning. I was always ready to go uh, uh, with these pullbacks to the long side. And I'll probably continue to do that tomorrow. It's going to take a pretty good sell-off for me to be perma short. So let me quickly pop over here to the Russell. Um, that's where actually we took a lot of trades today. Uh, Russell here, as well as the S&P. The Russell's got a little bit different type of support, though. Now, the S&P, the Dow, and the NASDAQ, they all have that 50% pullback, then Fibonacci's a support, as well as some moving averages. The Russell's a little different. The Russell's been chopping sideways all year long. You've seen the other indexes are moving up very nicely. The Russell's been in more of a consolidation year. Um, we probably wouldn't believe that looking at the other indexes, but the Russell's pretty well went sideways all year. 
at this point right now the Russell is testing its support right now so if the Russell can get a pop I'd see at least get a pop up here to test this 21 at least test that 21 which would be about halfway back of this recent uh, uh, drop at least some some type of pop you know at least some type of pop there we tried to get it whenever we had this push up 50 percent pullback we got a little pop but then it decided to sell off we're retesting the previous swing low over here on a daily chart so i am kind of looking for a little pop here in the indexes in general not just the russell not just the s p and so on and so forth pretty much all of them i am looking for a little bit of a pop here using its daily support crude now crude is a different story right now this is a daily chart here of crude and on the crude we are finally breaking this is something I've not been talking a lot about because look at all this room that we had to move here guys um, over here it was looking like we were breaking some of this and then it just these these candle wicks down here these can these containment chip bars just could not get that sell off now we're finally I've been talking about uh, the lower highs been talking about lower lows and how the market really hasn't made a change we are slowly making that change today was a day that got us above the previous swing high now we're not closed above there so if we have a sell-off I might might you know uh, sing a little bit different tune going into tomorrow if we do have a sell-off today which is why I said we're not quite there yet guys if we have a little sell-off at the end of the day and we close deck down below here I could look for some further selling going into tomorrow back into this consolidation phase but if we continue aggressively into the close into tomorrow we have to trust that hey this thing from a technical standpoint has broken and there's a good chance that we could see a move higher here so something we got to take into consideration and talk about going into tomorrow so if we close up above this swing high and we open up tomorrow bullish I will continue to trade this crude oil to the long side if we open up tomorrow and we are able to get down below these swing highs I can look for a little bit of a sell-off here back into this consolidation area back towards this midpoint back towards all these moving average clusters in here so I will also be looking for that tomorrow so kind of a weird video today guys we've got that bullish above bearish below mentality on pretty much all the markets we're looking at so it's going to make for a very exciting trading day uh, not just tomorrow but pretty much the rest of the week because um it, it, there's there's a lot of interesting stuff here and stuff to pay attention to because the markets are starting to move um, vol volume starting to pick up just a little bit nothing that we would, were too crazy about but volume is slowly starting to pick up here in in the uh, in the markets and uh, trading is becoming a lot of fun so uh, moving into tomorrow I'm, I'm bullish above bearish below on a lot of instruments and that's the way you know I'm gonna be trading tomorrow so if we get some bullish um, trading early on I'm gonna go with it if we get some bearish trading early on I'm gonna go with that too which is a good thing because it provides a lot of trading opportunities so if you have any questions guys go ahead and email me adam at directiontrader.com if not i appreciate you watching and i will see you in tomorrow's video have a good afternoon